Hello, Mr. Dre back with another video. And in this one, what we are doing is estimating decimal division problems. So you have to keep in mind that these are estimates. And many times when we um, go over estimation in class, um, that's to build our number sense. So when we're out in the real world, whether we're at the grocery store or at the mall or playing video games, and we need to do um, some math quickly in our head, without a calculator, without a piece of paper, without our phone calculator. Um, we need to be able to round numbers or use compatible numbers to estimate in our head very quickly. So that's what, that's, that's what this skill is trying to build up, being able to do these problems in our head for an estimate, right? Which is, which is basically an, an educated guess, I guess you could say, right? So um, we have four problems here and we're gonna go through. There are many different ways to estimate, but this way is my personal favorite and it's the easiest way to build that number sense that we're able to do these in our head out in the real world, right? So in this first one here, 38 and 1 tenth divided by 5 and 8 tenths, right? So my suggestion is to always in your head round this divisor, right? Just to round this divisor. So in this one, 5 and 8 tenths, 5.8, is very, very close, I'm gonna draw my little thought bubble here, is very, very close to six. So I'm gonna think of six, right? Now, I'm writing these down, but normally when we use estimation, we're doing it in our head, right? That's the skill that we're trying to build up. So I'm writing it down, but normally, you know, we would do these in our head. So there's six. Um, now, what I'm thinking about in my head is what multiple of six, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, right? Which multiple of six is very close to 38? So again, I'm thinking this, but I'm gonna show you my thinking with this chart here, right? So follow six over, which one is very close to 38.1? Well, if I follow six over, look, right here, 36 is really close to 38 and 1 tenth. So in my head, I'm thinking, that this, here's my other thought bubble, is 36. So now, in my head, here's what I'm thinking. I'm writing it down, but it's, you know, in my head. 36 divided by six equals, and my answer is going to be six, right? 36 divided by six equals six. So we're estimating, right? That's not the real answer. We don't want the real answer. We want an estimate. What's close, right? So in this next one, 57 and 3 tenths divided by 6 and 8 tenths. Again, what's 6.8 or 6 and 8 tenths close to? We're thinking it's close to 7, right? So now what multiple of 7 is close to 57? Again, I'm doing these in my head, but I'm going to show you my thinking. So I'm going to follow 7 over, and I need it to be close to, what was the number? 57, right? So let's see, I'm following seven over. Uh, oh, look at 56 is real close, it's eight. So I'm thinking that this is 56, right? So our division problem in our head that we're thinking is 57, or I'm sorry, 56 divided by seven and that equals eight, okay? Again, we're using compatible numbers. Now, in this one, 423, or 423 and 1 tenth divided by 71 and 3 tenths. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't know my 71 times tables, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, we're gonna round this. 71 is very close to this landmark number of 70. But I don't know my 70 times tables, so I'm gonna focus on this seven, right? And we've done this skill before. Now. If I look at 423, what multiple of seven is close to 42, right? I'm, since I'm only using the first digit here, I'm gonna use the first digit over here. Well, if I look at seven, it hits 42 exactly. So I'm gonna pretend that this is 420 and I'm gonna focus on the 42 and in my head, it's gonna be 420 divide it by 70, and that's gonna give me six, okay? Um, this last one, I'm gonna think that this 80.7, or 80 and 7 tenths, 
divide it by nine and one tenth. Obviously, I'm gonna um, think about 9.1 being a nine, right? Now, what multiple of nine is close to 80.7? Uh, let's see, that would be 81, right? And 81 divided by nine equals nine, all right? So different ways to, mult to uh, divide decimals with estimation is to uh, think about what numbers go together with our basic facts and the goal of um, estimation is to be able to do it quickly and most of the time in our heads without really uh, writing anything down or using a calculator. So those are a couple tricks. Hope you found that helpful and we will catch you on the next one.